everybody welcome to the channel it's lovely to have you here thank you so much for joining me it's delivery day today so I get to play with boxes um, there's a few have arrived and I just want to have a look and see what we've got I know what I've ordered <laughs> God only knows what's arrived in these uh, current uncertain times I've kind of got to the stage where I'm thinking you've got to get what you can get while well, you can get it. So, what do you need if you're going to be barbecuing? Well, you need charcoal. So, Pro-Q, as you may well know, I, uh, I do rather like, oh dear God, no, that's going to be a pain in the arse, David, do it the easy way. I love the way this stuff gets parceled up so that you can't necessarily get into it. So, I found the easiest answer is to get yourself a decent knife. This one's perfectly legal as long as I don't take it out the house. Uh, so what we have here is, oops, these, the Pro-Q Coke or Shell Briquettes, which as you know, I like. So I'm gonna make a nice pile of those. I've got three boxes, 50 quid, and I'll tell you now, what is it we've got? 10 kilos in each box, so 30 kilos of highly compressed, very long burning charcoal briquettes. Coconut charcoal briquettes. One of which appears to be upside down, never mind. Right, that's them done, lovely. So that box can disappear out the way, down there. Lovely. This one. It's uh, it's a bit light. There's certainly not 30 kilos here. Uh, this would be again from Amazon. Alderline, the family's choice. 30 liters. Uh, approximate weight is 3.6 kilograms. It says here. So it's not an awful lot, but it's lump wood. I'm going to give it a try and see how it works. It says fast ignite and equal burning, no order, long lasting temperature, lightweight. Have the feeling it's going to burn up very quickly. But we'll see how that goes when the time comes. There's two of them. Right. Next we have, oof, these, yes. Eco Blaze, you know what these are. Let's have a look at them. See what they're like. Wood wool starters. There you are. Seen these before. They all seem to be fairly uniform in size. 500 in a box. 18 and a half quid I paid, not the 22 and a half quid I've seen advertised on Facebook. I like these, I've had these before, they work very well, so that's good. Let's put these over here. Excellent. And then, uh, so what we're having here get down is these, and I've had these before. Eco Blaze Charcoal, uh, these are the Pinnike uh, Hexa Hex Briquettes and again they're good, uh, they last for ages. They don't have a lot of ash on them don't these, which is really really good because that means I don't have to worry about where I use them. Uh, they go over that. So that's today's deliveries, which is good. That can go out the way. So, the next trick is to get the Kamado lit up low and slow. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a piece of uh, lamb shoulder and I want to do it low and slow so it's pulled effectively. And then I'll make a decision a little bit later on as to what I'm gonna do to go alongside the lamb shoulder, uh, just to make something for tea. That's all these ever are, just something for tea. So I'll see you in a bit when I've sorted out what I'm going to do. Right, um, so yes, this has come from, believe it or not, Morrison's and why not? 
and all I'm going to do is stick it in a Dutch oven and leave it there to fester for hours and hours and hours and it's, it's going to be dead easy really so we'll just pull it out of the packaging it's a, 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 a British beef roasting joint I had thought <laughs> yes it's not quite what I thought I was doing never mind one on the floor so there it goes and all I'm going to do with that he said changing his mind on the fly all I'm going to do is stick the meter in it and I'm going to stick it onto the barbecue and just let it run low and slow for donkey's ages I'm not going to do it fast I'm going to do it like pulled beef so let's uh, get a meter out and we'll stick that right in the middle there we are right in the middle and that's just going to get salted and shoved on the barbecue in direct which would be really easy to do if I could find my way into the salt there we are so salt and plenty of it that's it shed loads of salt I do like salt you might have noticed plenty of salt and that's just going to go on low and slow for hours and hours I'll come back to you in a bit time for honesty here um, yeah I thought I'd got a lump of lamb out of the fridge turns out I've frozen the lamb what an idiot anyway so I've shoved the beef on um, it says it's a roasting joint but in my estimation those roasting joints can be a bit iffy and it didn't actually look to be the nicest piece of beef I've ever seen so I've shoved it on um, let's have a look and see let's have a look and see how it's doing probe 3 has connected set it up to cook it is beef it is a roast it is what the hell is it uh, let's see it's silver side 57 for medium rare start cook right it's away ambient temperature it says is 41 it isn't it's 111 so that's fine we'll just let that go and it'll be good so there you are accidental beef not lamb <laughs> it's all good in it catch you in a bit well the meter tells me I have two minutes remaining it says so there look if I'm not reflecting the sun at you I think that's about right um, one minute remaining now it says yes. so we're just waiting for the uh, the last minute to finish itself we're at 60 degrees internal we're aiming for 63 degrees which is going to be medium uh, which is about right and I ended up doing it a bit quicker than low and slow I'm not going to pull it because that would be horrible um, so we'll get it out and get it rested and uh, there you are listen to that it's just diggly get off the heat right off the heat here it comes there it is going to need me fork there we are complete with meter close that down that's that done that was easy enough and then we have our roasting joint our our non um non named roasting joint i had another quick look and that's all it says on the on the part on the part it just says roasting joint it could be anything yeah it looks a bit like silver side it could be anything it just could be anything so we now let that rest and uh, it's going to rest for eight minutes question is what can you do for eight minutes I'm a married man not enough time to wash the dishes it's not enough time to mow the lawn 
which would be clever because we ain't got a lawn. We use AstroTurf, it's much easier. There's not even time to hoover that. So what, what can I do for eight minutes? I know, I can say, see you in a bit. Well, we're there. It says two minutes, but we've hit an internal temperature of 64 degrees. So the time has come, I feel, to pull the meter out and have a look, see what we're looking at. Come out. And out it comes, bringing with it a little juice, it has to be said. And we're ready. Good, good. So, happy eating. Thank you very much. You're done with. Right. I shall turn this round because I am right handed and we shall uh, have a slice off the end. Quite thick to get the first slice out and we have a nice bit of pinker tea. So a serving size slice. And I'm going to put a little salt on there, just because. There we go. It's my idea of a little. And uh, let's just see how tender. And you can see, pulls to bits. So let's give it a try. Uh -huh. Mm. I'm not sure it is silver side, it's lovely and juicy. Um, mm. Full of flavour, a little bit chewy, but it'll be fine. Like a standard roast I suppose. Total time to cook is not what I was looking at doing. The idea was, as I said, to put a bit of lamb on, lamb shoulder, that was going to take forever. <laughs> Hasn't quite worked out that way. So I've ended up with a beef roast, which will be absolutely lovely to have cold with a salad tonight, which is what we'll be doing. So there you go. If you've learned anything over and above, I'm an old bugger that can't remember what he's doing and can't read. <laughs> um, please do give this video a thumbs up and uh, and leave a comment down below. While you're down there, subscribe if you haven't already, please, because that would be rather nice. Um, and do come back for the next video when I hope I won't make myself look quite the fool I have this time. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, so until I see you next time, stay safe, keep the chart all burning right, and I'll catch up with you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>